Bataseta 32 is officially here. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Batacera Nation. So glad that you could join us. So, as you know, Batacera 32 is officially here. And today we're going to look at all the new additions and features that have been added to Batacera 32. So, let's get to it. So, here we have the change log for Batacera 32. You can see there that this list is quite extensive. And so you know that the developers have been working really hard this summer to get this baby up and running. So we're not gonna look at every single little detail has been added, okay? We're gonna look at some of the more important features uh, in additions to Bata Set of 32, okay? So first off, if you own a Capcom Home Arcade, you can now install Bata Set of 32 uh, into the Home Arcade uh, through a thumb drive, all right? And for those of you who don't know, Capcom Home Arcade uh, is a hardware gadget that's going to allow you to play 16 classic Capcom Arcade titles, okay? It's about a little over $200 or so here in America, uh, and in Europe, $179 or so, $99. But again, now you can install Batacera 32 on the actual hardware system. Besides that, you can also now install Batacera on this particular gadget. This is the Game Force handheld it's about hundred and five dollars so if you own the game force handheld you can now officially install Batacera onto it and for those of you who don't know in terms of the specs of this particular handheld uh, this is how it's broken down so the game force has a 3.5 inch screen 640 by 480 resolution 4x3 IPS seven colors and the LED button backlights all right so if you own one you can now officially install Batacera 32 on it. Now then, in terms of new emulators added to Batacera 32, we have emulation for the Apple II, as well as for the Apple II GS. So now you can relive the Apple II and the Apple II GS on your Batacera system. We also have emulation for the FM Towns. For those who don't know, and I didn't know about this, it's a Fujitsu PC computer. Initially, it was a non-IBM PC compatible PC system developed by Fujitsu. And then later on, as the IBM PC became more popular, uh, they made it compatible to the IBM PC. So here's a, some pictures of the actual system itself. It's a big PC there. Uh, and here's more pictures right here as well. It was originally designed to be a home console to play games. And in fact, if you go to YouTube, you can see a number of FM town games which were popular at the time. Okay, so there's an emulator for it, uh, and this emulator can now work in Battlestar 32 and above. We also have emulations for the Super Cassette Vision. Uh, this was developed back in 1984, and it was designed to compete with the Nintendo Family Computer System. And this is how it looked. Okay. There are a number of games for it, okay? You can see that these are all 8-bit, very classical, retro games out there, all right? Then we also have emulation for this particular gadget. Uzbox, I don't know how you pronounce that, Uzbox. It was designed to be a do-it-yourself 8-bit game console, okay? Uh, and this is how it looked like at the time. It's been discontinued, however, uh, there is an emulator for it as well. So all those games that worked in the original hardware, you can now emulate it in Batacero 32. And there's a number of games for it as well. Very retro, very 8-bit. Okay. And we'll look into all this in a separate tutorial later on. Then we also have AC Wolf, which is a source port for Wolfenstein 3D and Spear of Destiny, as well as for the Super 3D Noah's Ark, okay? And you can add a number of different mods to it as well, okay? So this will fall under the port section of the Batacera system. And we'll look into that as well. Then we also have emulation for the Pico 8 game engine. 
This game engine was developed back in 2015. It was designed to provide the hardware limitations of the early 1980s uh, game console. And a number of games and tools have been developed for the Pico 8 emulator. Okay, You can see there are these different games you can find for the Pico 8. And it turns out the most famous game developed for the Pico 8 system was Celeste. This was developed back in 2016, a Pico 8 system. Uh, and then later on it was ported in 2018 to a number of different systems and consoles, including Windows, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Mac, and Linux. But again, originally it was developed for the Pico 8 system. So again, these are all the different games you can find for it. You can try out a web version of the Pico 8 system, so you can play it on, try it out to see if there's something you want for your bot to set a system. And these are the different games that you can also download. And all these are free. Let me show you one example. This is the Phoenix right here. And let's look at the code itself. So this is the code. Let's bring it down here. This is the code. You can also program your own games as well if you learn the computer language of this code. And uh, all right, let me go ahead and give you a little demonstration of this Pico 8 Phoenix game. All right, so again, all these games can now be played, or at least most of them can be played now in Batacetta 32. One of the other major additions to emulation for Batacetta 32 is we finally have Sega Model 2 emulator for it. And of course, I will be providing a separate tutorial on how to get this emulator up and running. So that will be coming soon. Then we also have Sonic Retro Decompilation Engine. Okay, so what this is, uh, this is an enhanced version of the original Sonic 1, 2, and Sonic CD. And for that, you're all going to need some data files from the mobile version of Sonic 1 and Sonic 2. Okay, and I will be providing a separate tutorial on this as well. Then we also have an addition to the Sega Model 3. Turns out, finally, we now have pedal control as well as power PC frequency for the Sega Model 3. And I know that a number of you had trouble setting up for your racing games. Now that has been fixed. So I have a tutorial how to set up a Sega Model 3. Uh, in about to set. And I will be providing a link in my video description. We also have the final version of Flatpak. In about to set of 31, Flatpak was introduced. However, there was no audio. And in version 32, the audio has been fixed. Uh, and initially, while it was in its beta stages, there was a really complicated process. We had to enter code to get Flatpak up and running in Batacetta. In fact, I created a tutorial during its beta version. This is no longer applicable. and You no longer have to enter any type of codes into Batacetta to get Flatpak up and running. And indeed, I have this new tutorial, updates to Steam and Flatpak plus new free games. So now there's an app. And if you press F1 on your keyboard, there's a separate standalone app for Flatpak. And that will allow you to easily install a number of Flatpak apps into Batacera just by clicking a simple button, including Steam right there. And in fact, during its beta stages, I also created a video tutorial on how to install Steam into Batacera. So the first 10 minutes or so of this tutorial is no longer applicable. It's now officially outdated. Uh, so you may want to look at this one, install Steam in that manner, and then once you install Steam, then you can follow the rest of the tutorial, starting on time 10 minutes and 22 seconds. Okay, and the rest of the tutorial is applicable for Steam and Batacera. And this will allow you to install and configure a good chunk of your Windows Steam game into Batacera Steam. Okay, so check that out. You've not seen that just yet. I will be providing a link in my video description on this particular video tutorial. Now, besides all that, we also have a number of other additions, including the addition of Super Game Boy 
which allowed you to play Game Boy cartridges in the Super Nintendo system. Let me go ahead and make this bigger. We also now have better support for handheld PCs, including One X Player and the Aya Neo. In fact, if all goes well, I want to be able to install Bata Set 32 on the Aya Neo. So look out for that tutorial as well. We also have the addition of Pipewire, which has fixed some of the audio issues that people have encountered while trying to install Bataset. In fact, I've seen an improvement with the audio output when trying to install Bataset onto different computer systems. There's now finally support for Bluetooth audio devices, and these devices can be paired just like a gamepad can. There's also now audio profiles that you can create in Bataset. For the Pi 1, we now finally have support for the PlayStation Rearm emulator. For the Pi 2, we now have Nintendo 64 emulation with support for two different plugins, Glide 64 MK2 and Mupen 64 Plus Next. Also for the Pi 2, we also have Commodore emulation and Daphne emulation. For the Pi 3, we have Drastic Nintendo DS emulation. The Kodi app has now finally been re-enabled and Pi 3, which was disabled in version 31. Pi 3 also has Nintendo 64 support with a plugin of Glide 64 MK2. The PPSPP MLA has been updated. Furthermore, for the Pi 3, there's now support for Duck Station, the PS1 emulator. And for the Pi 4, we also have support for two different cases, the Desk Pi Pro case and the Argon 1 V2 M2 case. Here's another addition. There's finally now support for screen rotation. A number of you have built arcade cabinet system. And for the longest time, you were not able to rotate your screen. Now you can do that with Bata Center 32. Besides that, a number of emulators have been upgraded to some of the newer versions, including MAME, RetroArch, Scum, VM. And by the way, I will be doing a tutorial of this emulator sometime in October for those of you who have been asking about this one. SEMU has also been updated, DOSBOC has been updated, Lutris, Proton. This is going to add improvements not only for Steam, but also for Windows games that run in Batocera. Daphne has been updated, Redream has been updated, as well Moonlight, Flash emulators, the Xbox emulator, as well as Amberry. So again, as you can see, there's been a number of wonderful new features and additions to Bata Set 32. We will be doing separate tutorials on a number of these new features for Bata Set 32. In fact, if there's a tutorial that you really want me to work on, uh, let me know in the comment sections. So, and based upon the comment section, I will then focus on those emulators or features that you want me to do tutorials on. All right, so that is a wrap. Uh, my next video tutorial will be on how to install Bata Set 32 on a PC system. If you found this video useful, then please go ahead and like it. That would really help me out with the YouTube algorithms. If this is your first time watching Bata Set Nation or you're new to Bata Set and you're curious about Bata Set, then I will highly encourage you to come to our website at batasetanation.com. So we have a home section here, which will give, always will give you our latest video and our most popular video. We also have a newcomer section, uh, which will give you a great overview of what Batacetta is all about and whether Batacetta is something that you would enjoy using for your retro gaming needs. I happen to think it's an awesome operating system designed exclusively for retro gaming and now even for Steam. And you may think to yourself, well, you're biased. Well, it turns out I'm not one of the developers for Batacetta. I started out as a regular user, a fan of Batocera, and I thought to myself, you know what? The world needs to know more about Batocera. That's the reason why I created this channel, and that's the reason why I created this website, to let others know this awesome operating system for retro gaming and Steam. We also have a console section, and these are all the different consoles, tutorials I've already created for Batocera, and there's more to come, but it's all listed in alphabetical order, and it's much easier to find what you're looking for on this particular page than using the YouTube channel to try to locate the console that you want to know more about emulation, okay? There's also a section here for other systems, which will include main, Thomas Wave, Naomi, CP System, Daphne, MS-DOS, Windows. And we also have here a section for Steam as well and Steam Link, okay? And there's more to come. 
We also have here a section for all the different emulators that will work for a particular system, including for the PC system, as well as other boards out there that support Batoseta. I also have here a section for useful tips, and this will help you to get the most of your Batoseta system. Absolutely essential for Batoseta, right? And we also have here a section for reviews. These two systems here are the ones I use to test and install Batoseta on. And I don't have a big gaming rig. I just use these two. Uh, and it's portable, it's fast, and it doesn't take that much space in your living room. So highly recommend these two. I've done reviews on these two, testing the different emulators as well. So check that out if you have not seen that. And finally, I have a download section. Based upon the tutorials I've done, I've included free downloads for you to use, okay? The most latest is the HD texture packs for Nintendo 64. Again, all this stuff is free, all right? Finally, if you are not a subscriber, you might want to consider subscribing. I've got a lot more tutorials coming up, including the new material for Batocera 32, as well as the old emulators I've not yet covered in Batocera. So, you don't want to miss those videos. In either case, thank you so much for watching about this I really appreciate you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.